Hi there, I'm Danny, and I work in the sales department here at Greg Distributors. Today, we're going to help you keep your air conditioner in tip-top shape. So chill out, sit back, and join us for this really cool episode of Gear Up With Greg's. Before we can look into maintaining our air conditioning unit, we need to understand how it works. All types of air conditioners and even refrigeration systems run off of a similar premise. From a mini fridge to an industrial AC unit. There are two sections to an AC unit, one that is outside and one inside. The outside unit includes an exhaust fan, a compressor, and a condenser coil. Inside, there is an evaporator coil and a blower. A fluid called refrigerant is circulated through the coils, picking up heat from inside the system and turning it into vapor. Then, that heat is distributed outside by the compressor, forcing the refrigerant back into a liquid. On its way back inside, the refrigerant passes through an expansion valve. This will remove pressure from the liquid, turning it back into a vapor, resulting in a very cold air. That cold air is blown through the air ducts and sent throughout your house, vehicle, or shop. It is recommended that an HVAC professional does yearly maintenance in the spring to make sure that your unit will not stop working on the hottest day of summer. But maybe you forgot to do that, and now all the technicians are booked. Or you're wanting to save some cash and do it yourself. Let's run through some of the steps that you can go through to check your AC's performance. In a building, check the air temperature at the vents using an electric thermometer with the AC turned off. Then turn it on full and see how much the temperature drops. Most systems should be able to lower the temperature by about 10 degrees Celsius or 20 degrees Fahrenheit. However, your results may vary. In a car, before doing your test, make sure you turn the fan speed to low and the recirculation button is not activated. If there's not a significant change in temperature after a few minutes, it's time to move on to the next step. So, your air conditioning system in your house or your vehicle is on the fritz. But it could be a quick and easy fix. To troubleshoot your system, first check the physical issues, like a broken fan, debris in the intake vent, a dirty filter, frozen or dirty coils, or a clogged drain. If those all look good, the next thing to check is your fluids. You can pick up an AC refrigerant oil analyzer to check the status of your system's fluid levels and condition in under five minutes. These simple devices connect to the low side port and with a few quick presses, take an oil sample and provide a visual indication which will help determine which steps need to be taken to remedy the system. Now, refrigerant is a fluid used in all types of cooling systems, specifically designed to evaporate and condense continuously. Traditionally, these fluids have not been very environmentally friendly and weren't nearly as efficient as the premium hydrocarbon options provided by Duracool. These refrigerants are non-toxic, have a minimal global warming potential, and will not deplete the ozone. The Duracool refrigerants are easily compatible with existing hoses and gauges, and have options available to replace the most common types of refrigerants currently in use. R134A is for use in commercial refrigeration and standard household refrigerators, as well as home and auto air conditioning. It can be replaced by Duracool 12A. R12, used for automotive air conditioning, 
and small refrigerators can also be replaced by Duracool 12A. Twelve thirty four YF is used for automotive air conditioning, which is replaced by Duracool twelve A YF. And finally, R twenty two, which is used in standard refrigerators and smaller AC units, is able to be replaced by Duracool twenty two A. Okay, let's say you've noticed you're low on refrigerant, then it's got to be going somewhere. So you'd better check your system for leaks before replacing the fluid. Because these systems are so complex, it can be very hard to locate a leak by eye. So we recommend using a product specifically designed to locate and repair leaks in your system. The System Seal and Seal Quick products will find and seal leaks in the evaporators, condensers, gaskets, hoses, joints, and seals. Seal Quick is designed for preventative maintenance, while System Seal is great for troubleshooting. If your air conditioning unit is underperforming and low on refrigerant, hit it with both of these products to ensure you're getting the most performance possible. But before we seal the leaks or replace the refrigerant, it's best to make sure that your system is dry. They say that moist is the least liked word of the English language. That's probably because moisture can ruin a lot of the comforts of modern society, especially your air conditioner. Moisture will combine with lubricants or even refrigerants to form acids and other corrosive compounds that can harm the system. That's why moisture is the main cause of total system failure. So, to avoid any nasty issues with moisture, pick up a can of DuraDry and run it through the entire system. It contains ethanol that attracts moisture and a proprietary additive that converts the moisture in your system into a synthetic oil, which can remain inside your air conditioner without causing damage. So, after you've dried out your system and sealed all the leaks, you're ready to recharge it. Really, it should be called refilling, since you're actually just filling up the refrigerant levels. If you want to empty the old refrigerant first, there are laws in place to make sure that this is done by professionals only. In order to make sure that this toxic material is disposed of correctly, but a recharge is allowed to be done by consumers. To recharge an AC unit, you need to use a special hose and gauge combo to connect the service port to your can of replacement refrigerant. As you recharge, ensure that you are pressurizing the system to as close to the recommended PSI as possible by monitoring the gauges. Typically, you want to be around the 25 to 35 PSI range, but check your documentation to make sure as this can vary with the ambient temperature. Here at Greg's, we have a full selection of hoses, gauges, and kits for all types of AC systems. And even if your system doesn't have a service port, Duracool offers kits to pierce into the discharge line and add the necessary valve. And if you are wanting to retrofit your system to run on a new refrigerant, you may need a conversion fitting and we've got you covered there too. If you maintain regular maintenance on your AC units, then it can keep running smoothly for many years. But if you have any questions, reach out to us on social media or visit gregdistributors.ca to browse our catalog and find the location near you. Thanks for cooling off with me on Gear Up With Greg's. Again, I'm Danny, and I hope you have a great Canadian day.